guys welcome back to the channel for today's video i have a current household update and honestly guys so many things have went down since i last told you so it's time to let you know everything that's been going on in thomas and olivia's life first things first before i get started i do want to say that this house is actually built by plum loop the only thing i did was changing it up a bit on the outside and then obviously decorating the inside on my own but Plum Loop is an amazing builder and simmer. I'm gonna link all of her stuff in the description below so you can go check her out. Seriously, you need to because it's amazing. And let me show you actually the house in case you wanna download it. Hey yeah, guys, this is the build that I used, the Sequoia Cottage. It's so beautiful, like really, you can see the layouts, everything is amazing. And yeah, I genuinely really love all her stuff, so please go check her out because you won't regret it. Okay, so jumping in, as you can see clearly, so many things have happened. Where to start? There's so many things to tell you guys about. But basically, Thomas and Olivia finally got married. He actually proposed in Montgomery. They went on this trip, like I told you guys last time. You know, Thomas was thinking about it, was trying to plan all of this stuff to surprise her and he did which is it was it was honestly so beautiful and yeah it was a blast that trip was really beautiful and you know olivia was so happy they eventually quick after got married the wedding was intimate and beautiful with some family and friends and then you know they went on a honeymoon to tartosa and you know something's happened there especially the last night things got a little bit more spicy i would say and who knows a bit after they got back home from the trip they found out that olivia was pregnant and honestly it was such a blast i was so happy that they were finally getting there to have a kid and here we have little Amelia. She recently aged up as a toddler, but as you can see, she is seriously the cutest little thing ever. And oh, she learned how to walk, cute, yes. Cause he has, she has her skills a little bit higher because she got all the milestones as a toddler. And as you can see here, we do have the top-notch infant. Amelia is top-notch. This infant has been loved and well cared for, which will help them maintain a positive outlook on life. Okay, that's very cute. She has her quirks here. She's a heavy sleeper, a messy eater, and she loves the water. So let's go ahead and actually give her a bath while we talk, because she does need one. So let's give Amelia a bubble bath. Hey, you guys. It's honestly been crazy. Such a crazy journey they lived for a while with amelia at the rental house that you guys know about but you know it was getting a bit complicated to do certain things with amelia in that house since it was quite small so that's why i decided to move them out even though i have to say it was so sad because i genuinely loved that house so much but this house is beautiful as well and i like that it's more spacious they host their friends and family here all the time so it's honestly very nice to have this space and i know you can really appreciate the beauty of it you probably dynamic jokesters oh i definitely feel like thomas would have that dynamic with amelia since he's a cringe snake i feel like he loves doing jokes and silly things like that so yeah we'll, i will go ahead and say yes as i was saying i'm sad that it's winter right now because you can't see the true beauty of the backyard and all that because it's all covered in snow but genuinely i'm so happy to have this home as well because like i said they have more space to do things and interactions and move around the house with no problem amelia recently turned into a toddler and she's honestly the cutest i'll put some screenshots here when she was an infant it was adorable you know i feel like you guys were questioning if olivia and thomas are gonna have another child because you know it's kind of like expected when they have their first and now she's growing up and they have this home but i don't know what it is about them like genuinely when i play with families i usually love making them have more kids because i like the idea of having a sibling and all that but i have a feeling with them that they're only gonna have one child i don't know what why that is but i really do feel like thomas and olivia are so content with amelia and the way things are going on that i don't feel like they need to have another kid truly like i feel like it's just them it's gonna be quite great and you know enough for them i would say and another reason as to why i'm doing this is because i've noticed that whenever i had my sims have more ch children actually is where i became more um bored with the household and i genuinely love them so much 
that I don't want to risk it. Okay, we, we're getting a call from Joy, which makes sense because, you know, actually Joy and Louis don't see Amelia, Thomas and Olivia that much because, you know, they live far away in San Maishuno, they live in the city. So it is harder for them to come over here and all that. So, you know, I think it would be good if for a couple of days we head and rent somewhere on... No, but we can't rent. Maybe like a vacation rental actually because we can't move like that. Uh, but I feel like they would do something like that to go visit them and be in the city for a while. I think... Thomas has been thinking about doing something like that, like spending a week in San Maishuno so he can see his parents. And also, you know, Joy and Louis really want to be more involved with Amelia's life. So I'm gonna say that they're gonna go visit tomorrow because Joy is saying, hey honey, it's mom. When are you going to come visit? I put all my love and effort into raising you. You can at least drop by once in a while and tell your dear mommy you love her, can't you? <laughs> so I'm gonna say, you know what, mom? I'll visit you tomorrow. Okay, so we're gonna have to have that planned. But yeah, because think about it, like Olivia has everyone here, like her friends, her mom. Thomas, yeah, he has her friends, his new family now, because Olivia is family and Amelia is too. But yeah, he misses his parents quite a lot because, you know, he, he came to Windenburg when he was way younger, just starting life right out of high school and college. You know, he, he doesn't see them a lot, so... It's sad, like whenever Joy and Louis come here, they stay for a little bit and that's about it. So yeah, I think that's gonna be a nice thing to do and kind of fun for gameplay as well. So I'm gonna make them go on a vacation rental, I guess, uh, to some you know, even though it's not really a vacation. Here, I wanna show you the house because I have, you guys, so many pictures. Here we have the ones you've seen already. I think this is when Thomas asked Olivia to be his girlfriend. Here we have Thomas and Louis, then you know Naomi's wedding, which was so cute. And over here we have a wall of pictures. We have the same ones you saw from our house with friends, them on New Year's, and then the wedding, which is so cute. But over here we have the marriage certificate. We have a cute little picture of Amelia as an infant. She seriously was so cute. You know, more of the weddings and stuff from life and trips like over here we have pictures again of the wedding olivia with naomi we have from the trip to Montgomery a couple of pics and it's truly so beautiful i generally there's i feel like having pictures of my sims all over the house is like one of my favorite things because you can kind of track time like that which i think is really cool i don't know i really love that so basically that's really what has been happening with them they just spent all their time you know the relationship growing closer getting married and the relationship having a why well, i said the relationship again <laughs> like them getting married then having a kid it's like time is evolving and passing and it just makes me so happy to come here and see that it's growing you know it's it's growing it's happening and it's really sweet to see you know here amelia has his parents and grandparents I wish Clive would show up. I know that he's not, you know, Olivia's father, but Clive is Amelia's grandfather because, you know, he married Naomi, so it's kind of a shame he doesn't show up here. But yeah, it's been really nice. They actually also hosted Harvest Fest. Naomi and Clive couldn't come because they were on a trip, so Joy and Louis came over. Then we hosted, you know, Amelia's birthday. I'm gonna put some pictures here. It was very cute. Uh, they went all out and decorated all the living room and kitchen for that and yeah it's just really nice and it's been great just noticed <laughs> that olivia was like bugged there and wasn't moving which is kind of funny another thing i have to say about them is that they've improved a little bit in their careers but i am planning to make them stick to seven level seven of their careers up until maybe you know, Amelia turns into a child or something of the four of the sort, sorry. Because I, I don't know, I feel like they're gonna, if not, be like at the end of their careers very soon, if that makes sense. Uh, but yeah, they're both at level 7. I'm just like keeping a couple things there. Don't really want to make them improve a lot. Because I want them, oh my god, of course they broke the sink. Repair that, please. And yeah, it's been, it's been very fun to play with them. Actually, I've been having so much fun. It just makes me so happy to see this little family growing and they also hosted Halloween here like a costume party when Amelia was an infant but they really couldn't um, 
I, I, I didn't take that many screenshots actually because I don't know, I wasn't happy with how they looked but it was very fun though, I love playing that honestly. We're gonna give some food to Amelia because she is getting hungry. Everyone is getting hungry so it's about like dinner time because as you can see it's 8 p.m. I really love their dynamic so far. It's been very fun to also get them into little routines. Like I make them get up in the morning at like around 7, 8 a.m. They have their coffee, their tea, they have breakfast together. They wake up Amelia and they kind of all do their things together and I really really enjoy that. I think it's very cool and cute honestly. So yeah, I've been, I've been having a lot of fun. Amelia growing up makes me a little bit sentimental because it makes me think about the time where I'm gonna have to turn Thomas and Olivia into adults. That's gonna be hard <laughs> to be honest because I love them so much. But yeah, I'm planning to keep Olivia as a toddler up until she gets all the milestones because I think it's gonna need to be fun to work on that to be honest and enjoy that time with them and like seeing them grow and like actually invest time in Amelia honestly so yeah I, I, I'm thinking of doing that for each stage I guess up until she's a teen then I think I'm not gonna focus that much on getting every milestone or something of the sort maybe when she's a child the same thing but I don't know I, I'm really happy with um just trying to see what milestones they can get and all that it was very very fun to play with Amelia as an infant and seeing all the milestones that she could get so that's why I feel like I'm gonna do something similar for her as a toddler. But it was gonna take me more time <laughs> to tell you all the things that went down with them but that's really it. Their, their friendships are still going strong as you can see here. Lou and Wei and Lou actually aged up to a toddler. I forgot about that. Um, she is so cute as you can see here. Look at her. She's so cute. So I'm gonna try and like host a play date as well with the Wayne. They can all be friends. Yeah, I'm excited. I think Lou though should age up soonish into a child because you know they had they had her like way before Amelia showed up. So I think it, it, it makes sense for, for her to be a bit older. But yeah, they're they're honestly having a lot of fun with their friends friends and family it's been very wholesome it's a very wholesome gameplay and yeah like i said i'm just having a lot of fun and i think that's that's what matters when you're playing and it's also a good thing to not get bored it's just just to really get invested into their lives and like give them hobbies and friendships and family and like this like i wasn't planning on making a trip to samai shuno up until joy calls so it's kind of like thinking about other ways the story can go and things your sims can do it's all about i guess being very creative i would say and like getting out of the box and not pressuring yourself to get everything and all the skills and all that i'm just having fun with the milestone thing because i think it's kind cool to see all the milestones the toddlers and infants can get since I haven't done that really so yeah it's just it's just a fun thing to do and explore and see what is right for you and what makes you have fun for me always I have fun with making like very wholesome cute little stories about people falling in love and then having their family and so on but I never make it past the children so <laughs> let's hope that with this one I can and see what's gonna happen with Amelia because I don't know I generally do feel attached to the three of them it's gonna be hard to let go of Olivia and Thomas though at some point it's exciting I don't know I think it's gonna be fun uh, but yeah guys as always thank you so much for watching I'm sorry that I didn't do much for gameplay wise it was more of like telling you the story of our of my household but yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!